Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, today is... Welcome back to the Shadow and Sun Show. Today we are going to be painting the Archon Phoenix. The dog is oddly enthusiastic about something. I can't tell what it is. Uh, it, it, he's, he's a good boy. Uh, that's right, the little guy is uh, painting the Dungeons and Lasers Phoenix from Archon Studios. We recently, as you saw last Tuesday, got our Kickstarter pledge in from all the way uh, out in Poland. And while he's painting the Phoenix, he's going to be using our decades-old separated neon orange yep. for most of the base coats. And I'm going to be working on the Witch Hunter. Um, just as soon as I got this miniature in, in the mail, I, I, I just I, I wanted to paint it. Also because I've been wanting to play a, a Witch Hunter or an Inquisitor in uh, one of the upcoming games I'm hoping to be in. And I will be using Army Painter's Speed Paint Blood Red, Hive Dweller Purple, maybe. Not sure about that one. Some Hardened Leather, and of course, Gravelord Grey. I also put together this Phoenix Egg from the stretch goal set just because I couldn't get it back into the box because it was so wide but it's such a really nice piece and I, I primered it with a metallic gold and I'm not sure exactly how I, I kind of have an idea of what I want to do with it um, you know I, I was going to just paint the, some of it uh, with, with the uh, speed paint red up in the upper portion and leave most of the rest of it just gold and I might not even use a wash on it because I like how shiny it is yeah, but it feels a bit too pale, like a paler gold. Yeah, I may I may I'm do some dry I may I may do some dry brushing with bright gold or something like that from Army Painter. But uh, let's let's get started. He's uh, just going to be doing the base coats. And not even that. I'm just going to be doing the more scalish looking feathers. Okay. And other than that, because mainly because I'm still not good enough, as well as we have a we're pretty we're not rushed, but we do have a pretty big time constraint. Yeah. Or I guess small would it would be the correct? Well, we, 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 we've got uh, guests arriving shortly uh, and it'll be the last time we'll probably see them before they move to uh, Parts place. Unknown. Yeah. And, well, it's uh, not like it's going to be the last time we see them. They're coming probably December. Right. Is but, what they said. Right, but, uh, you know, it's, it's kind of a big deal. They've been friends of the family for... Uh, a long time. 11, almost 11 years. Roughly. And I'm going to need my, my just, reading glasses. We'll just say me. since the event, the first Avengers movie came out. Oh, okay. And that's important, but that's, it doesn't matter. Well, it does matter a lot, but this is... And I'm going to shoot for kind of a, a red and black, almost uh, commissar look to this, this individual here. That's odd. But as soon as I saw this miniature, I, I knew I had to put it together and paint it. I'm also working on the Townsfolk set from the same Kickstarter, but it's it's taking a li it's got a little bit more uh, assembly time required because of the large number of pieces in it, and hopefully that'll be something we I can finish up uh, for this week, and then we can show that off. It, it, it's been a pretty busy week last night with the the shadow chat. With, Which was a good one. It was a very good one. And then uh, today we had our video with Connell the Cigar DM. And uh, Friday, Saturday I had my game with Bruce Lombardo of Dick's Division. And, of course, uh, I was hanging out in the comment section over at Max's Chill Stream. So it's been a pretty busy weekend, let's say. And the little guy is starting school tomorrow. this week. Uh, yeah, tomorrow is his first day as an actual freshman in high school. So that's kind of a big deal as well. Yeah, you could say that. I hope you guys have been having a great weekend and a great summer. For us, while the weather-wise summer is over, 
technically it, it's not really over for us. Um, you mean technically summer's over, which it isn't, but the weather doesn't make it that. I assume that's what you meant to say. Yeah. It's it's going to be in the hundreds for the rest it of August. It was getting cooler. But then that stopped. Yeah, cooler, yeah, it it made it to 97 instead of 102 or 3. And that's still decent compared to what we were doing earlier, but then it jumped right back up. Even right now, I think it's still 100 degrees outside, and it's 5 o'clock, I think, our time. Yeah, something like that. It's weird. His boots look like he's wearing two different boots. I don't see that. Mainly because I don't know what you mean by that. Hmm, that's weird. I didn't notice that. I'm glad I didn't panic. There was something weird on the Phoenix, and I didn't panic. And I'm now glad that I didn't. Because it's very much different from the rest of the body. Yeah, that was a pretty interesting model to put together. It had some some issues, not issues, but there were some complications while putting it together. Just trying to get all the flames in just the right spot. But it it was a lot of fun. It, it was, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to say it was hard. It, it was relatively easy compared to the Hydra. Relatively easy compared how compared to how it's going to be painted. Mm-hmm. That's for sure. Yeah, it's definitely a complicated. Mainly model. because I don't know how to paint fire. Other than just putting this on it and calling it a day. Yeah, well, we'll we'll, we'll take some. That's what we've done. Yeah, and for it, a it, while. it 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 works out right. This is uh, apple barrel, I think. Craft paint, yes. yeah, apple, apple barrel, neon orange, and we like it because it, it because it's so old, it's separated and doesn't come out in, in an even, perfectly neon orange. There's there's, there's some yellow too. Huge undertones of yellow in it. And Depends how much you, how thick of a coat you put right, on right, it. Right, right, right. Just a, a one coat, and you can see the yellow showing through, and it really lends oh. itself to to being a. A, a fiery color. Let's, let's put it that way. You, you, you guys have seen us use yeah, it before. Yeah, you can see it here. We just uh, we use it sparingly because we have one bottle and it's gonna take twenty years to get another one. Oh, I thought I found another bottle. Is it as good as this one? Yeah, I, I, we'd have to do a. a, a pretty we don't extensive have test. to do an extensive test. You can just look at the two of them and say, yeah, this one's better, a lot better. Just haven't looked at the other one, and you're hoping that it's better. No, I I did, and I want to say that it, it, it did turn out. It rough turned out close, hmm. but not close enough. Yeah, the, the 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 only certain way to make it do that is to, to just... wait thirty years <laughs> without touching it at all. <clears throat> it's more like twenty years, maybe even less than that. Uh, well, it's, that's still a long time to wait yeah, for. Yeah, it, it really is. So now I'm gonna go with the hardened leather for his boots. Ah. Did I shake it too much? Look at that. Well, you can always go over with white. Yeah. And that That's... reminds me, I, I need to I need to make a miniature market order because I am running out of soft tone and all the other washes, and I really need to have them ready for the rest of this month with all of the miniatures I will be painting this month. And I gotta say, I'm, I'm really digging these these speed paints. They're really fun to work with, and nice and I want to say watery or runny and thin, but at the same time very strong. It's almost like using pure ink with a little bit of extra. Just weird because I'm a painter is known for the opposite of that. It's exactly exactly the case. Army painter, um, not gonna lie, they're not 
they're not the best paints, but they do make the best inks and, well, not inks, but washes, and I think that uh, is just kind of a weird development with them, but I'm really happy to, to see that these, I, I actually, you know, to be honest, I, I actually like them better than everything I've tried from Games Workshop when it comes to contrast paints. And while Games Workshop did redo their formula, it's it's not something I'm really interested in in taking the plunge and testing them out and seeing if if they are improved over the old ones because not only is it a very expensive product, it's also uh, they've also reduced the amount of paint you get in the bottles for the same exorbitant price but we'll, we'll see maybe maybe I'll buy a bottle or two maybe of a color I don't already have just so that you know I get two for one instead of just you know trying to do a test I get to have a new color in my collection yeah that's fair What are you eating? The floor. There's no food in here. It's the floor. You're eating the floor. Are you a floor? Or a wrapper. My dog is a weirdo. Does sound like plastic. I wouldn't be too uh, surprised, yeah. Well, we'll just you know, poop it out later. We'll pull I guess. it out of the bottom. The knife. The knife. <laughs> Trying to get PETA on her on her ass? What? Oh, PETA, ha ha ha. No, that wasn't the joke. And now that I've done the leather brown, I'm gonna go with the Gravelord Gray. I I was tempted to just use black, but I'm gonna go with gray and then darken up certain areas with a wash. And probably actually hit it with a either the purple. Uh, Hive Dweller Purple to give it that sort of midnight sheen, that sort of you know reflective look, or I will just go with a purple ink. Well, sorry about that, folks, but you know ow. how short dogs are. Hey, go. Well, I think I'm actually pretty, pretty close to being done. Really, that's all you're going to do with that color? Yeah, the rest of it's going to be more good fire. Really? Yeah. We're going to have to wait until I at least use up as much of this gray lord as I can. Oh, no, no, no. This isn't going to work. You want it? It's, it's almost... Too white? No, it's too... Purple? No, it's too uh, clear. Maybe just yeah, I'm gonna use a mistake brush food. and get it off, and I'll go back to my original. Plant. Yeah. Which was? Black. Well, I think. Why that don't you try um, doing a little experimentation with the the two contrasts that I gave you? Just do it on the napkin and see if any of them look like something you'd want to use. Shake them up first, real good. Instead, I'm going to go with the Viejo Black. It's a little, a little runnier than Army Painter, and I'm not going to need much. No, not this. Okay. No works, but just not for the product, not for this. Okay. You may change your mind, go back to it. Oh, no. Can't find not this stuff. Well, it was too uh, brownish or something? Yeah, too brown. So we try it out.
Well, yeah, I think I'm done. You sure about that? I am 100% sure about that. That's too bad, because I'm not done. Trying to use up as much of the black on his eye. That looks good. Yeah, I hope I, I, I can find a game where I can play a sort of a Solomon Kane kind of Inquisitor, witch hunter type of character. I'm not going to do the next part of the hat, just trying to use up some of this paint so I don't waste it. Is the other part I'm going to need a different brush and a different technique. Oop, I don't know how that happened. How what happened? I rubbed some paint off by manipulating it. I really need to find a system of... Okay, that's what I'm way too quickly. A system of a uh, holder or some sort of... You know, oh. Citadel and some other companies make these you know miniature holders, which I've never really bought in too much. I think I could just make something out of a, a pill bottle or something like that so that well, I don't do what I just did. Pure which was, orange. That doesn't make any sense. You missed a spot? No, I mean, it's pure orange that came out of it. Hmm. Which almost never happens. Weird. Now, how do I pour this stuff back in? <sighs> pour what back in? This. Oh, you poured too much in the cap? Just be very, very careful and it'll work. Definitely going to have to also uh, break out the wet palette. We didn't do as much painting this, this summer to really warrant it. But I'm, I'm already seeing my paints dry on this little palette here. Very, very quickly. Mistake there, I have to go back over that. That's not good. Yeah, I think it's enough. You sure? Yeah. And some of it will fall back into the bottle over time. Yeah. So you excited about going back to school? Yeah. Hmm? Still have no idea what my schedule is, but that's because somebody lost the papers. Well, you can just go to the front office at the beginning of the day and they'll tell you. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be nice if I knew where the front office was. Because they didn't tell us. You, you, I think the same, place, them. the same place we went to uh, the first day for your orientation type of thing. The, yeah, as I said, there's like three of those. Are you trying to paint that entire thing before we finish? No, I'm just trying to not waste any paint. That's the same thing. No, no, I, it's, this is going to, I'm going to, I'm probably actually going to break out the, the magnifying glass, the microscope to do the rest of this. Oh, here it is? No, the microscope. Yes, here it is. No, no, not that one, the other one. This one? No, the other one, remember that lights up, it's in the other room. You mean the one that was gifted to you recently? Yes, yes. You need to spend years practicing how to paint with that thing. Already. Yeah, you're probably right, but I'm still going to give it a good go. Yeah, you should practice on some things that are less important than that. kind of wish I'd learned a bit more about painting fire so that I could have done something. Well, you know, it's not too late. There's uh, 
Well, no, I still will, just not now. You can try uh, watching some of the videos that I've, I've saved. Over the years? Yes. There are a lot of painters out there that are better than us. Well, That's very true. We're still, you know, even though I've been doing this for a long time, I've learned a lot. And I had to unlearn a lot as well. What do you mean unlearn? Just I was doing some things, you know. Wrong. Yeah. That's hmm. weird. You like it? Yes, but it doesn't mean it's not weird. Yeah, I'm definitely done. Oh, wait, no, never mind. There's a, there's a tiny bit left. And there's so much stuff I didn't notice. I'll do it later. Okay. Uh, it's just a small that. detail. Alright, well, just wanted to try that red out over the gold. You use, see use the Yeah, that's good. And that's yeah. the witch hunter so far. I still have a ton, a ton, a ton of work to do on it. But um, I, I just, I just really dug the miniature as soon as I saw it. You can see that it's it's pretty tiny. And give them one last shot at the, the phoenix, and we'll call it a night. I'll try to spin it as much as I can <clears throat> without doing that. Mm -hmm. This is an impossibility. I, I, I really wanted to paint this one, but uh, you know, you could have. You know the rules. I, I was let the little guy do it. And we can always get another one from Archon Studios. Their online store probably already has this up in the shop. <laughs> That's my boy. So there you have it, folks. Uh, sorry it was a really short video, but uh, we've got a, uh, you know, we've, we've got... Uh, it was working. not a short video. Oh, it wasn't? Well, well uh, you know, uh, we're going to end up doing a bit of work between now and next Sunday. And... Uh, you, you you should see some progress. You know, it, we'll, we'll be painting these every Sunday. If, if I finish this one off, I'll bring something else out of the Archon Studio, uh, either the stretch goals or maybe the townsfolk set. And well, the townsfolk set is really good. Right, but uh, there's, there's so many miniatures in it. Um, but there, there are a bunch of monsters in the stretch goal box okay. that I'm kind of looking forward to painting. Maybe one of the elementals. Maybe I'll do the fire elemental just to go along with what you're doing. But there you have it, folks. Thanks for stopping by, putting up with our shenanigans. We will be back maybe tomorrow for a video instead of doing it Tuesday because I have a game Tuesday uh, with Bloodworth. Um, or maybe we will do it on Tuesday as our usual schedule, but I kind of like the idea of doing it tomorrow. But, well, you know, well, as always, it's I don't know, I always like to stick into the schedule. Yeah. But uh, there you have it, folks. We will see you guys again real soon. Thanks again for everything. And Good night. Bye, everybody.